We are I. I was talking with somebody last night when I was sitting in the sauna about experimenting with different things. And, you know, this conversation was, you know, revolved around experimenting with mushrooms and trying them in different scenarios. You know, I said, I'm like, well, I'm like, not only have I tried mushrooms, I'm like, I've tried mushrooms running experiments. Like, can it connect you more with a, with a dream state? Like, can you eat mushrooms before bed, you know, like a, a micro dose or like a micro micro dose? And can it connect you with your dream state more? I don't know. You know, through a bunch of experiments, I realized that either it does absolutely nothing or it keeps you up all night because you took a little bit too much. Like it just seemed like there was no real dosage that was that happy medium in between. So um, I abandoned that experiment. And then I've experimented with, you know, doing endurance, you know, sports because it kind of helps set you aside and put you aside from, you know, the activity that you're doing. And, you know, it allows you to be able to you know, run with music, air quotes, without running with music. And anybody who knows anything about, you know, endurance or sports, athletics or anything along those lines knows the difference between doing something with listening to music versus not. So that's like my easiest analogy with that. It, it gives you that edge because you become so much more tapped into the environment around you and you, you almost become enthralled with, with your surroundings. So it helps pass the time at an incredible degree. And then I've run experiments of, you know, doing micro and macro doses in the sauna, in the ice bath, during lifting weights, you know, out backpacking in the backcountry, overnights in the backcountry, chilling with friends, you know, in the backcountry, whether daytime or nighttime, you know, I've done experiments at home, just chilling out, watching movies, like just everything, you know, and then. I also stated that this is the same experiments that I do when it's like I sit in the ice bath for five minutes or eight minutes or 10 minutes or, you know, do multiple different sits with a modest reheat in between, you know, sitting in the sauna with having a cold shower before or an ice bath before or nothing at all or just coming from doing cardio, all of these things, having people to talk to versus not having people to talk to. Same thing with the ice bath and, you know, workouts alike, you just strength training, you know, weight training, you know, endurance training, mobility training, and you know, everything in between indoor sports, outdoor sports, the whole bit, you know, work the same way, interacting with people the same way, you know, reading and knowledge, you know, same way, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, you know, audio books, actual books, you know, online tutorials, just ways to be able to get information, what works the best for me, sleep, sleep experiments, what, what allows me to be able to get the best, deepest sleep, all of these things. So I was shocked when she said, you know, like, how do you have time to be able to experiment? And I'm like, how don't you? And I'm like, simply because you're sitting in right here, you're experimenting with better health, you're experimenting with, you know, social connection, you're experimenting with all these things. Like, why not fine tune that? Why not have the option? Well, not that's actually an incorrect way of saying that. Why not express or explore or deploy your option to be able to fine tune? Because that's all experimenting is, is really just trying to find a way to be able to do something better or fine tune something. And like, this to me is the benefit, you know, like, why not? You know, we have this abundance of ability right now. We have an abundance of time and understanding and education and knowledge and just overwhelming opportunity to be able to explore who we are, what we are, why we tick, how we can do things better, you know, and better in a way that it's easier for me to be able to live my life, like easier to be able to have longevity to my life, feel better, look better, you know, do things easier. We have an abundant opportunity to be able to do this. You know, like when people say, you know, like, why do you get up at 3.34 o'clock in the morning, go to bed, you know, between nine and 10 at night? And I'm like, because 
I'm creating time for myself. The, the only thing that annoys me about that is not getting up early. That's not the struggle. The struggle is like trying to find more things to be able to do during the day to be able to fill those valuable and precious hours that I've created for myself because it's not that it's not that I'm running myself down. It's just I love to do shit. I love to be able to do more. I love to be able to explore. I like to be able to try things. And this is what creating time does. You know, I give another hour or two here a day or every couple of days to something. And all of a sudden you have this thing you created, which to me is like now this pumpkin patch with like 12 or 15 different sponsors where we've all got together. And, you know, we're raising money by growing pumpkins and selling pumpkins for the Boys and Girls Club here in BC. You know, something it just kind of accumulated out of thin air. And it's like, what a great opportunity. That's just waking up early and being inspired, doing all these things that allow me to be able to be a better person, function better, function easier. And this is what experimenting does. Why wouldn't you do that? So I was fairly shocked, very shocked by this questioning of almost unreasonability, like why I would and wouldn't do this or why I would or nobody would or anybody would do these things. It's like, you don't have to be an ex- or a scientist to be able to run experiments on yourself. Like I'm not performing open heart surgery on myself where I need specialized tools and specialized knowledge. It's like, no, like I realize that the information that is supplied to me is very subjective. So I need to take that, that wide array of subjective information. I need to say, okay, I learned X, Y, and Z. I'm going to try these things on me. How can I make this better for my experience? Because just because somebody ran experiments on maybe a hundred or a thousand or 10,000 people doesn't mean that any of those people quite fit that category like me. You know, a blend between Eastern and Western European. You know, somebody who wakes up, you know, and takes advantage of their day, day, eats healthy, works out hard, ice baths on it. Like there has to be a very specific pool of people that have been tested for anything that would represent me and my minority. So this is why you're obligated. And I don't, like I said, I don't understand why people wouldn't want to be able to live a better and for more fine-tuned life. It's the same thing like with this podcast. I hear this podcast every morning is a way for me to be able to communicate and understand myself better. I just happen to relay that on to the, the public that listens. And there's something that about just airing out the thoughts that are in my mind in a public realm that anybody at any time could stumble across this and think that I'm the craziest fucker alive or, you know, that I seem a little bit sane and rational. There's something cleansing of the mind and the soul about that, knowing that you're throwing all that and exposing yourself to that degree and you're just your raw thoughts to be challenged in any way at any time. And even just become a conversation piece for other people, you know, to be able to, you know, agree or criticize and judge. And you'll never even know. But that's out there about you. But if if I didn't experiment with doing this podcast, I would have no idea the value that it's a value that I hold at a very high regard because it feels great. It really, truly feels great. So the question of the day is, do you have the aptitude to be able to go out there in your own life and experiment with different things in a quest to be able to understand yourself to a, a greater and a better degree? Because to me, I think this is what life is all about. It's just, and nowadays anyway, being able to figure out in the abundance of opportunity that we have today, how do you live How do you live a life that's fulfilling if you don't experiment with things? 